Marty McFly. King of receipts. I can tell you so far the food tastes amazing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And you know I love squid. This is butter? Butter. It's like butter like sauce? Most part. Looks like. Tasty, I don't know. Huh? And that maybe. I don't know what is it. I think that's butter. It's butter? I think. Taste it. I got no way. That is good. Very, very good so far. Not a big fan of yeah, you. Right. seafood, like squid and octopus. Yeah? It's like my favorite foods. I know. My favorite is steak. I don't believe how you don't like it. Well, I just never really got into eating beef and pork and stuff. No, pork I understand. I don't like pork either. Just bacon. But everything else, not that much. Let me taste this, see what it is. It's not butter, but I don't know what is it. That's like a sweet barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the rice is pretty good. The vegetables too. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like a um what? A puree of a vegetable. Which one? The yellow one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to let you guys know, I thought this was butter, but it's like more like a puree of some sort. You know. But it's still good, though. But I think I like the barbecue, whatever this is, a little bit better. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Do you know what? I'll go to. You said it's in Flamingo, where they have the basketball courts. Mm hmm. I'll go. You can plan one day to go there. Yeah. Like, and normally you just. Like, the, there they have a lot of schools to volleyball and other stuff. Yeah. And normally you can just like go and the first class is for free. Right. So like you can enjoy the people. And it's not expensive. I think it's like 60, 50, 50 reals each class. But if you get the pack, the pack mm -hmm. like months, you can pay less. And was it like usually on the weekend or something like that? Every day. Oh, every day. Okay. Yeah, you choose the days that you want to go. Yeah. I know my friend Eric Enrique when he was here. He was always about to do surf for him. Huh? I was, but I was doing too much. But the surf is really morning, like it's 5 a.m. You can wake up. That was the problem. I couldn't wake up because <laughs> because he would. He would surf at 5 a.m. And then I had to go train with my trainer at 11. No, no, no. Like at um, like 1 o'clock, 1.30. Mm. So I'm like, I'd be too tired. You can do both. I could. You just need, like, getting... Schedule. 
Yeah. That's my main problem. I need to get my schedule more jam packed. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. But you know, on the days that you would come over, I would never go to the gym. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah. I go to the gym. Yeah, but like people here, they go to the gym in the lunch time. They go to work 8 a.m. Uh -huh. and then their lunch time is like 11. They work out into 12 and then they go back to work like 1 p.m. 12 and they just leave work like 7 p.m. And then two hours traffic, go home and all the other stuff. That's crazy. But this is why Brazilians party so much on the weekend. Because they do a lot. Yeah. They just work, work, work. You know. Yeah, see, the Rebecca story. Like, they needed to choose between eat and pay, like, transport. They, like, her mom needed to work, to job, to, to work needed to walk to work because mm -hmm. she was giving the money to Rebecca take the transportation to the practice. It's like... Am I so alive? Hmm? Yeah, she was in the in the Olympics. So excited. And the fact that she brought home the gold, I know everybody is super proud of her. Yeah. And she came from Hosina? I don't know. I think they said she was from, I don't know, Flamengo or something like that. Yeah, she what? is from the club, Flamengo Club. Oh. So the, this Flamengo Club has gymnastics, everything? Yeah. Okay. If we did, I suppose the day that we have been in the museum, yeah. we didn't the visitation. But if we do the visitation, you're going to see everything they have there. They have like a big pool to the swimmers. Yeah. Olympic pool. Now, who pays for all that stuff? People that go to games. Okay. It's a club. It's a soccer pl club. Like, actually, now it's a polysportive club. Uh -huh. And Flamengo is one of the richest ones. Yeah, like these people, for example, they are in a class probably. Oh, okay. They pay for it. Interesting. Yeah, they are teaching this girl. Yeah. <clears throat> now, is she learning Fuchi ball or? Alchina. Alchina. Oh, just to let you guys know, they have like a little training going on back here. Yeah. Just so you guys know. That's cool though. She, you know, she worked hard. And she, you know that she had three injuries. This year? The Rebecca, she had three injuries. She passed for three surgeries in the knees. When? Years ago. I don't know if it was, I think it was the year before, I don't know if it was after Tokyo, uh -huh. but I know that the years before Tokyo she had. So imagine you'll be a golden medalist Olympic and you already had like three surgeries in the knees. Like she job, she needs the knees. It's crazy to imagine. And she still did. That's crazy. And it seemed like her and Simone Biles got along good. Mm -hmm. No, they are very good. They're humble. Yeah. She gave an interview that was so funny. Like the Brazilian journalist was asking, oh, what Simone was asking for you that time, whatever. And she, Oh, she arrived with me and she was asking like, Oh, you're gonna do the solo? Which jump you are gonna do? You're gonna do the triple whatever? And she was saying like, I 
don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and then the journalist asked, okay, did you ask the same for her? No, of course not. I don't want I don't need to know. <laughs> That's so funny. But Simone said that. She said that I was afraid about Rebecca. She said that I was the only one that could beat her. That's so funny. That's crazy. She po Simone posted on like a get wet with me on TikTok mm -hmm. and was one of the first Brazilian was doing a meme about Simone like that. Because she was talking about Rebecca. Yeah. And then they were saying, you know the movie? I think Mean Girls, I think. Mm -hmm. The Mean Girls? Yeah. They have like a time, they have a moment that somebody in the movie say like, oh, 80% of the time I was talking about her and 20% of the time I was cheering for somebody to talk about her so then I could talk about her too. Something like that. Right. So they was doing a meme like Simone Biles. Right. Like 80% of time I'm talking about Rebecca and 20% of time I want, I, I want somebody to talk about Rebecca so then I can talk too. So they was doing that. It was so funny. That's nice. But did you watch her solo? No. Um, that was beautiful. You should. It was beautiful. I think I was at the gym when I were, when they were playing it. But they had the news before. Oh, after. Yeah, I'll catch you on the replay. I'm talking about Rebecca's solo, right? Mm-hmm. It was beautiful. She stuck all the landings and all that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's tough to beat. Much respect, definitely. I thought that was funny that the idea about the reverence was from Jordan, not from Simone. Oh, reverence. Oh, you didn't saw the picture? No. I posted on my Instagram. You didn't saw my stories? Uh, well, show it to me right now. It's still up, up there? I'm gonna see. <laughs> Is this playing something? Oh, it's not here anymore. Maybe. Mm. I think it's Wait. the one that Viola Davis published. Wait. You should still have it in your archive, though. Even oh, yeah, 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 that's true. It was? Yeah. Yeah. This picture. <laughs> well, who's that on the right? You got Simone and who's, who's the it's right? It's Jordan. It's Jordan and Simone on the other side. So it's basically gold, silver, bronze right there? That's, that's yeah, it was like it was so beautiful because the the time for the the, the song, how yeah. I say that, they that that they put like the flags up there, like was Brazil in the middle, and we know that our flag is the most beautiful in the world, <laughs> and then like United States in both sides, and it's so nice to see like a country like Brazil that is so underestimated, like in the top of the world in some Olympics games, so. Amazing. So it gives you great pride. Mm -hmm. You had like a lot of pride for the country. Yeah, of course. And we had like some memes also about our song because like all the countries, the song, how I say Inu, like the song of your country. National anthem? Yeah. 
like all the countries talk about war, about violence, about how you're gonna beat. And our our song is just like, looks how amazing my country is. It's just saying like, like Brazil's beautiful. I love to live here. It's just basically that. Hmm. Yeah, everybody else is talking about bombs and revolution. Mm-hmm. Brazil's like, hey man, I got some caipirinhas. Look my bitches. Look my people. Yeah. It's amazing. You have a beautiful song. I love that. That's cool. She cried. Oh, um, what's your name again? Um, Rebecca. Rebecca. I mean, yeah, I mean, she worked hard, you know. I, is that her first gold? No, oh, she had gold in Tokyo. No, I mean, um, against Simone. Yeah. Because Simone was in Tokyo, right? She was in some of them. Not in everything. Because she, she gave up in the middle of the land. Right. I think I remember that. And it's so nice because like a lot of Brazilian athletes, they are talking about psychology and therapy yeah. and how that it's important. Uh -huh. And it's really good because like the whole world have so much prejudice about that. Yeah, you think so? Uh, I don't think so. It's facts. They have like therapy is just for people that needs or people that has problems or people that are crazy they they don't like to oh i'm strong enough i don't need therapy a lot of people are that are like and that's one of the sides because the other half of the side is like oh therapy is because you don't have god you need to go to church and pray that's why you are with problems or stuff like that and like rebecca in an interview last night after the gold, she was talking like, oh, one of the better things that I do is like talking with my therapist and that like she helps me a lot and everything. And was the same problem with Simone in Tokyo because like she just give up because health, social, oh, mental health. And it's, it's just like, I like so much when they talk because right. a lot of people inspires on them. So when they talk, people can know like, oh, actually that's important. Actually, I should try that. Okay. Well, good for her. She worked for it, you know. <clears throat> when you work for stuff, you should get the rewards, you know? Mm-hmm. Only thing I wish they did is they peeled these shrimps. Mm -hmm. I hate doing this process. Have places that you can buy it already with the it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big shrimp though. Just to let you guys know. Big, big shrimp. Yeah, so the day's winding down. The sun's just starting to kind of set. It's getting a little bit cooler, but we came out at the right time now. Not too hot, not too cold. Actually, pretty warm. Basically destroy this whole platter. There's just a little bit of veggies left for the most part. Rice is gone. You know. So what's the next big, biggest thing going on in Rio? Is it uh, maybe rocking Rio? Ro yeah, I was just about to say that. You want more rice? No, you can eat. Thank you. Rocking Rio. Okay.
And just so they know, what is Rock and Rio? Because some people might not even know what that it's is. It's a festival that happens in Rio. Like a music festival? Yeah. I think mostly of them are little music, but even the food ones mm -hmm. also have some concerts happening. Oh, don't forget we gotta go to that place you was telling me about. The food? The food? You did, um, I think Sunday you were telling me about some place that has all these different kind of foods. It's like a, um, like a market or something like that? Oh, the street market. Yeah, I think so. Pode sim, obrigada. Obrigada. Faz um cosmopolita? Pode ser. Obrigada. Obrigada. Oh. They starting to play music, so I'm gonna probably turn the camera off. Cause you know, content strike. So guys, as we finish up our meal, like I said, they're doing a the training right here. On the beach. People are just out and about, as you can see. We're actually finishing up our food. Sun setting in a few hours. Just another day in Rio. Relax, chill music, some drinks. We're probably gonna stream in a little bit. What time you got? 4.30. Okay, we got an hour to stream. So we'll see you guys later.